Welcome back guys, today we're going to be going over the pros and cons of dailing a bagged Mark 6 GTI. <laughs> Uh, some of the cons of dailing a bag of GTIs, uh, one of them is fucking tires. Like, but that, that's kind of my fault for buying cheap tires. But uh, when you stretch them, the beat, the beat, it has a bead leak. So you can't really like. So I have to air them up every day, most for the most part. So you can't really like get by that unless you buy like more expensive tires, which I didn't want to do. And you can hear. You can literally hear the bead leak just from standing by a tire. I don't know if I'll be able to get it on film, but it's loud. Like, it is not a slow leak. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But uh, another struggle, I guess, is V2. Um, yeah, it's it's better than the uh, AccuAir that I had, but it still has its problems. Like, when you, if you air out and then air back up to, like, drive height, it's going to be lower than if you, like, uh, we're all the way aired up and then you uh, air out to drive height. It, it doesn't like get it exactly, which is kind of annoying. Um, another con of just fucking GTI is you always gotta check engine light on. Uh, that is from Golf R bumper. I just haven't uh, just haven't plugged in the headlights to a or the fog lights to like it's an actuator thing. Relay or, uh, yeah, it's like a relay like or something. That, yeah. Yeah, and then tire pressure light. Don't know why that's on. Like, uh, it was on before. Like, I even had like the stretch tires or whatever. So, tried to scan sensors. Tried everything. Are you even running sensors in these tires? Yeah, they have sensors, and it still stills on. So it's kind of fucking annoying. But, uh, driving daily in a bad car, you kind of have. I mean, yeah, it's nice to get air up and shit, but you also have. You still have to be careful of like certain things. And the maintenance that comes with it too. It's not like static. Where yeah. Just it's like static, you just literally just drive and you're good. Uh, but bags, like a lot more too. Like you're supposed to drain your tank. Uh, like things can go wrong with like my bags. They like make like a weird noise like in the morning if it's aired up, like a clicking noise. Um, you have to be careful about. Um, like your compressors, like you have to make sure those are good because if, if those go out and you're paired out, then you're basically fucked. But, um. Yeah, like bag wear and uh, the spinning in general, of, yeah. of your bags. Is, uh, I have the Slam Series though. Yeah. But yeah, the Slam Series, that, uh. Reason, that's not just, uh, that's just like in general, that can happen to anyone. Yeah. And bag blowouts too, you can get fucked up. If, if, yeah, exactly. Yeah, if bag blows up, then you're out for a week or two until you get like a replacement in um issue i have with the slam series is since i have a little bit of poke and i like and i'm not tucking uh the slam series bags like i uh i can't just air out all the way or else it'll just crunch my fenders so that's also another thing that's kind of like i don't know like a disadvantage like yeah you always have to kind of worry about that but the performance ones, you can spin it up so like you can air out all the way, which is nice. But wow. I didn't know that. Oh, there's hazing. Uh, I didn't know that when I first got into the bag, so I didn't really look at that, which I should have. Um, I would say also, it's not just like because fuck, I don't know. If this is this is gonna be in focus. But if you're bagging a car, and even if you're just doing shows, shit can go wrong. I don't know if you're driving the car to the show, but it's not. When you're dailying a car on bags, it's just like a lot more things that could go wrong. It's not like uh, they are. Going to go wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's not like they are. But if you're dailying, you, you can uh, you have like more chance of where like something bad happening. Same with uh, show cars, though. Like they still have the same disadvantage. But most of the people that have nice show cars just um, trailer their cars to the show. So kind of enjoy. They don't get the, like enjoyment aspect of dailying their car, like and actually enjoying their car. If it's just for shows, so uh, kind of depends on what you're trying to get out of your car. But yeah. Also, oh. another thing is like for winter time. Like, I mean, if you keep up on your maintenance for the bags, then it's fine. But that's just one more thing you have to take care of. But 
uh, during the winter time, like, you have to make sure you're not airing up and down, gotta check your tank to make sure, like, like, you don't get any water in there, and, like, you can drain it, like, every so often, like, there's just a lot more you have to do than just being static or just driving a normal car, so, I don't know, it's, it's worth it, but it's also, it also be a pain, so. And then how about your front wheel drive? How's that the car itself? Oh, uh, for the car itself, uh, since it's a GTI, not a Golf R, <laughs> uh, it's front wheel drive, which is kind of, it, it's nice and not nice at the same time. Is like winter time, it does just fine. You don't need the all wheel drive if you have snow tires. But the thing that makes it annoying is like you lose traction super easily just getting on it. Uh, I don't, that's that's the main part for me like you just don't get much traction but uh, another thing like with it is it's slow so uh, GTI in general is just slow but um, I don't know it's I think it's it's a good daily like the interior is nice enough uh, it's really dirty right now but <laughs> it's not like it's a white panda way quick yeah <laughs> Uh, it's not like a Subaru or Evo, you know, um, where they're just like cheap plastic. Like this is actually like nice material. Uh, got a touch screen, like you got a dash, like with and it's the, well built too. It's like not like Subaru that's just like ugly pan or like yeah. the 350. Even though I love them, it's just a single like pan with the uh, door handle. Like I don't like that. Like this has nice upholstery and uh, curves and lines and I don't know if that makes sense, but like trim panels and stuff that, we, that makes it look really nice. So. All right, the ultimate question is, uh, is it worth dailing here? Uh, I would, I would, personally, I'd say yeah, because you get, I mean, fuck. Um, personally, I'd say yeah, because uh, just driving it, like, I just enjoy driving it, like, being able to go wherever and, like, your car, like, still looking good, like, it's not just sitting in the garage. Uh, and you can still take it to shows and stuff. Yeah, you, like, if you clean it up, like, it's it's just fine uh gas is perfect on this like it's not too expensive but you can still have enough fun like it's still turboed uh i don't know bags haven't had too many problems with the bags yet so i don't know for me it's it's well worth it i mean yeah it's a lot more upkeep with the bags and the like airing up the tires every day but i don't know it's worth it for me and probably for a car guy if you're a car guy <laughs> All right, so that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, let us know what you thought of the video down below. Uh, stay tuned. Hit that notification button. Like, comment, and subscribe. And fuck you, Devin.